Welcome to How to Learn a Word You Don't Know and Why It's Important. Okay, so I was reading one of my favorite books, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, like I could remember the name. And it's one of my favorite books. I've read it many times, but this summer I came across a word I'm like, hmm, I'm not exactly sure what this word means. So, like, I used all my, my strategies. I read before the word, I read after the word, I reread, and I still wasn't exactly sure what this word meant. So I'm going to read to you this passage and let you th see how I've tried to figure things out. They glanced back repeatedly as they made their way out of the graveyard. Harry, who did not feel as sanguine as he pretended when reassuring Hermione, was glad to reach the gate and the slippery pavement. They pulled the invisibility cloak back over themselves. When I first saw the word sanguine, I, I wondered what it meant. Based on the article, I thought, well, does it mean happy? he wasn't as happy as he'd felt or he wasn't as relaxed as he felt? And that's what I got based on the sentence. But then I thought about what I know about words, and I know that the word sanguine is Latin for blood. So then I thought, based on that, well, if he's not feeling sanguine or something related to blood, I thought maybe that might mean angry or upset. Both of my ideas could fit the sentence from the book. Since I couldn't figure it out by using the clues in the story, I actually had to go to a dictionary. And here it is, sanguine. It's an adjective, and it means optimistic or positive. So that means in the situation that Harry was in, he wasn't feeling very positive. He wasn't feeling very optimistic. But I'm not done learning this word right now. I need to go on and figure out more ways to connect what I know to the word sanguine so I won't forget it. The next step in learning a new word is to create a mental image or to visualize it. So when I thought of the word sanguine, and I knew that it meant happy or confident, I was thinking, well, what kinds of images would make me remember that sanguine meant confident, happy? So I thought of somebody who'd gotten a really good score on a test, even though they weren't sure they were going to do so well. So I'm going to do a quick sketch or maybe find an image on the Internet or maybe do a magazine cutout, but find some kind of visual image that lets us really cement the meaning of the word into our minds. Even though I know that sanguine now means happy or upbeat or optimistic, it's important to connect it to words that you already know, words like synonyms. And then also think about words that it's not like, which are your antonyms. So when I looked up sanguine in the thesaurus, I found a bunch of synonyms that I knew that were common everyday words, words like happy and cheerful and confident and enthusiastic. So if that's what sanguine is, I also wanted to think about what sanguine isn't. And I looked, at, looked up at the antonyms. And if you're not sanguine, then you're sad or unhappy. Those are antonyms for sanguine. Once you've really figured out a word's meaning, then you're going to really need to figure out how it's used in a sentence. I know that sanguine is an adjective, so I know that it's going to have to describe someone or something. So I'm going to need to be able to use it correctly in a sentence. So here's my example. Tom felt very sanguine when he finished his algebra test, knowing his studying had paid off. So he felt confident, he felt happy, because he'd studied hard and he did really well. One step in my vocabulary learning process gets kids a little bit tricked out. I mean, it's a little co confusing because I'm not asking for s more synonyms. I'm asking you to think about examples or relating this new word to a familiar experience or a thing. So you notice a couple pictures here. I have a little boy in a Superman cape. Well, he's feeling pretty sanguine. He looks like he's a kid who thinks he's got superpowers or he's a superhero. So what's an example of someone who is sanguine? A little kid who thinks he's a superhero. The other picture shows someone rock climbing. Well, in this particular case, this rock climber is obviously feeling pretty sanguine about overcoming this challenge, making it up to this peak. So I wanted to find examples of things that would make you feel sanguine or examples of things that are sanguine. So it's different than a synonym. It's a, it's a concrete example of when this word might exist. And here's your extension. If you really want to prove to me that you know the word above and beyond what is expected, and this is the only way you're going to get an A on this particular assignment, I'm going to ask you to create kind of a free verse poem using your vocabulary word in what's called an acrostic. And you'll notice the way I did it, I capitalized each letter in the word sanguine and I wrote them vertically. And then 
In my little acrostic poem, I tried to think of either synonyms or examples or just phrases that really helped you think about what sanguine really means. So here's my sample for sanguine. Seems better than you thought it would be. Anticipated a tough outcome, but it it were happy, and I probably should change that to was. No longer worried. It's all good. Glad. Unconcerned. Instead, feeling good about the world. Not nervous. Easy going. So other than my grammatical error that I'll fix in a minute, I've taken the word sanguine and I've written it in such a way that I've used a variety of different thoughts and ideas and images to really help you understand the word. So following these steps, you'll learn your words and you won't forget them after you take your test on Friday. Good luck.